So today I have this FlySky TH9X radio transmitter uh, which is from FlySky and if you take a look you can see that it says it's an upgrade. So the TH9X was introduced almost 10 to 12 years ago and it was also sold as the Turnigy 9X and a lot of people bought this radio for their aircraft and even today this is a budget transmitter that you can buy which will offer you some features that you get on some of the higher end radio transmitters like the Tyrannus and usually this is a radio that someone would buy and flash open TX on this and then access the full potential of this radio transmitter but because Flyska has updated this very recently we'll take a look at the box and see what the radio is like and what all upgrades are implemented so let's take a look at the box itself over here you can see that it's 2.4 gigahertz so this has the second version of the frequency hopping system that Flyska has developed at the side of the box it says it's a bi-directional system it's got the frequency hopping it has an omnidirectional high gain antenna then there's digital identification and low power and I have the mode 2 version with me So there's a quick start guide that's included and it has all the basic information that you would want to know so and this is the receiver that you get with the radio so this is the FSIA 10B receiver which has 10 channels and it can support PPM, SBUS, IBUS and PWM protocol and this is the bind adapter to bind the receiver to the transmitter so this is the radio itself and as soon as I pick this up I can feel that the radio is a bit on the heavier side so it's not like the i6 or the i6x which I have over here so you can see that the size difference is definitely visible and you can even see the thickness so so this is how the radio looks and you can see that it has a lot of switches and knobs over here so this is the on off switch you have your gimbals and you also get an extra strap holder buttons to adjust the trim level and this is the menu button that's your exit button and this is to scroll through the settings and various other options on the side there's a DC port to plug in a battery or a charger so that you can charge your AA batteries if you are using rechargeable batteries at the back this is the battery bay where you installed 8 AA batteries and if you wish you can replace this and use a standard LiPo battery and then connect it to this port over here so this is the version 2 of the module that you get with this transmitter so one of the major flaws in the version 1 was it did not support fail safe and Flysky has fixed that so in this particular module uh, it now supports failsafe in PPM and PCM mode as well and this is the antenna that's on the module so if you want you can adjust this and to remove the module just hold the side tabs and pull it so if you want you can replace the module and use any third party module so you can use the FR Sky module or the XJT module for the TH9X So I've installed 8 AA batteries and I can now power up the radio. And from my previous videos you must have seen that I was using the DSC port. So you can connect your FPV goggles or UHF system to this port and then use that. Now unfortunately even though this is an upgraded version, Flysky has not installed the backlight in this radio so that is something that was missing in the version 1 and unfortunately you still don't get the backlight in this. So I really wish Flysky had installed a backlight so that the display could have been much easier to read. So let's take a look at the system settings of this radio transmitter. So if you hold the menu button, you get two options. You can go to the system settings or you can go to the function settings. So the first option is model select. So you can choose about eight models or so then if you want you can name the model over here 
then you can select what type of module you're using so if you decide to use a heli select that if you want to use this for an aircraft or a FPV cord you can select acro then you have the module option we can select the protocol for your module so the first one is PPM and the other is PCM so mostly you will be using the PPM protocol then you can choose the stick options so you have mode 1, 2, 3 and 4 if you want you can copy the settings from one module to another then here is the option where you can select the output for your receiver so you have PPM IBUS then you have PPM SBUS PWM IBUS and PWM SBUS so depending on what you're using you can select either of these and here you can adjust the contrast of the LCD and in the function settings you have the options to reverse your channels you can enter the trainer mode and set that up then you have the sub trim and this is the fail safe option so this is the display option where you can see your gimbals and other channels that you're using then this is the program mix in acro mode you can set up up to seven mixes so i think that's a great feature to have and this is the aux channel so you can set up five auxiliary channels so quickly i'll bind the receiver to the transmitter and connect it to my rc car so to bind the receiver you'll have to use the binding adapter and plug this on the battery port which is at the top section over here and then you can connect a esc or a battery to any of the ports over here so i've connected my esc and the servo and to put the radio in binding mode you'll have to hold the bind button of the module at the back and then power on the transmitter and before you do that make sure that you have selected the right protocol for the module so mostly you'll be using ppm so make sure that you have selected ppm and then bind the receiver so i'm holding the bind button and i've powered on the transmitter and now i'll power on the receiver So the light on the receiver is steady and it indicates that the receiver is now bound to the transmitter. So I can remove the bind plug. And because the module supports fail safe, to activate that you'll have to hold the bind button for 3 seconds. So set the position of your gimbals that you'd want to use during fail safe and then hold the bind button for 3 seconds and you will see that the LED on the module will blink so that indicates that the fail safe has been activated so the previous version of the 9x did not have fail safe and that was a major flaw and a lot of people were disappointed with that but flysky has now fixed that with the updated module and so now you can set up the fail safe so basically you get the automatic frequency hopping digital system version 2 on this and the 10 channel receiver and the updated module which now also has the fail safe option so other than that everything is pretty much the same the only thing that i'm disappointed is it does not have the backlight so that's something Flysky should have included in the version 2 but they haven't. So even in 2021 the Flysky TH9X I think is a good option to have because firstly the price is not that high so it's still one of the budget radio system you can buy and because it has some of the safety features like the fail safe and replaceable module at the back and not to forget that you can even flash open TX on this and I think that's what most people would buy this transmitter for even though it's the outdated version of OpenTX which is 2.1.9 so that's about it if you found this video helpful or informative uh, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel and as always if you have any questions you can comment them so thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for my next videos